Hello, uh, today we're going to do some investigation on how to grow <coughs> the lotus water plant from the lotus seed. And we're going to settle an age-old dispute on where should we cut, which end should we cut or file on the lotus hard shell to make the lotus seed grow. Now, when we look at inspect this lotus seed, you can see that it has two ends, right? So this end looks like belly button. It's kind of kind of cave end, and this other end is slightly pointy. Okay, so there's been a lot of theories which end you should file down or cut into the hard shell to make the load of seeds easier to grow. Now the, the shell is very very hard okay that's why you need to file it down or cut until you cut off these uh, these brown parts or black parts until you see the white part where the nutrient is is, is like a this is like egg shell and when you cut into the white part it's like egg white and there's an embryo which is like the egg yolk you do not want to cut until you see the embryo, then this whole thing is damaged. But you do want to expose the egg white part, the nutrient, so that water can get into the nutrient and make it grow. So we're going to dissect this. So here we have a bunch of failed um, attempt to grow lotus. So see the, this where we cut it put it closer to expose the white part and this is I think we cut that one on the belly button the uh, butt end what I call so this is the pointy end so let's see we can probably open this after in the water for like a week or so, the hard shell is actually very easy to peel now. It was hard, very very hard before. So hard it's almost impossible to, to cut. You have to exert a lot of force. But once it's in the water for a few weeks, it is easier to peel now. So you see, you can peel it open and expose the white part. And let's see the embryo. Here we go. Remember this one we cut on the the belly button end, okay? And if you see the embryo, so this is the leaf, right? It's gonna once it grows out, which this one failed to do, it should extend the leaf. See like this. Okay, so this is basically is the root then. So the root end is actually at the pointy end. Okay, so it should push from the root out this way so that the leaves can extend and grow. So it basically means it's going to come out of the belly button end. So the theory of result from this one is that you fire or cut the belly button end so that this leaves can stick out of it and grow. You don't want to cut the pointy end because that's where the root is. The root needs this this solid end to push against, to push the leaves out. So if you have to cut, based on this, what we will observe, you cut the belly button end. But since we know that after in the water for a week, this hard shell becomes very, very brittle, very, very soft. It's easy to push through anyways. Do we need to cut it at all on the belly button end? Probably not. 
I mean, you could, you could cut or file anywhere. I've seen people cut on the side of the seat, not on either end, and still should be able to push through the, the hard shell once it's in, in the water about a week. So it really doesn't matter, but the only thing I know for sure from my failed experiments is that if you cut on the pointy end and you cut too deep, then the root is exposed. Since the root has, so the root has, if you cut to here, the root has nothing to push against. It's going to push and it's going to come out of this end. So that's not going to work. Okay, so you don't want to, you do not want to cut the point here. And not too, too deep anyway. So if you want to cut, probably on the side or on the belly button end until you see, barely see the, the white part, then you stop. I think that's the right thing to do. Okay? Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you, grow, hopefully you can grow the uh, lotus seeds successfully, unlike mine.